Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Close Combat 2, A Bridge Too Far. This is episode number 9 of our Let's Play series, playing this game as the Allies, and we are at a monumental moment in the campaign. It's day 2 of Operation Market Garden, and we have finally been able to push through to Arnhem Bridge with our troops from the British 1st Airborne. Presumably this is the battalion of soldiers that did make it to the bridge historically and defended one side of it under Major uh, Frost. But uh, in any event, and despite the fact that they did that, I think on the first days of the uh, first day of the campaign and we are doing it on the morning of the second, doesn't really matter. I think we have a good chance to win this battle because we eviscerated the German troops in the Arnhem uh, map prior to this. So just an hour ago, we killed 30 Germans, losing only 12 of our own, and so the Germans probably have very limited reinforcements for this particular map. Casualties carry over in units. You're only given so many points to reform your troops. How many points you're given depends on your supply situation, but also depends on how long you have between battles. And we only gave the Germans one hour between battles. And so my hope is that this will be... Um, not a cakewalk, but my hope is that we have a good chance to drive the Germans off the map and keep the pressure up and take the bridge. And this would be a great moment for us. We've taken the city of Nijmegen, at least part of it. We haven't taken the bridge there yet in the south. We're, we were driven off the LZ uh, for the 82nd Airborne near Nijmegen. So it's not going great in the south. The LZ near Oosterbeek on the first Airborne side up near Arnhem is also we barely clung to that LZ, but we lost both the landing zones. So not great situations there. It's definitely not a smooth sailing campaign. Uh, the 101st did its job admirably, and so that situation is good. But the Sawn Bridge was destroyed, and so 30 cores behind schedule. But all of that said, it may not, it wouldn't matter if we can take the Arnhem Bridge and we can push through in Nijmegen and take uh, the Nijmegen Bridge. If we can get both of those bridges. 30 Corps is going to come with a lot of tanks and a lot of reinforcements, and it'll make things a lot easier, but it's all about the bridges. So we'll see how things play out, but this is the big one, folks. We need to take Arnhem Bridge, and if we do it, we stand a chance. That said, this was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel. There's a link in the description if you're interested in joining those in the future, uh, but this was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so let's jump right back in. So the next battle is going to be these same soldiers. That is the next fight, Arnhem Bridge. The Brass Ring, the Arnhem Highway Bridge, spans the Lower Rhine River and is the gateway to the German industrial Ruhr Valley. Completed by the Dutch in 1934, destroyed by the Dutch in 1940, captured by the Germans in 1940, and rebuilt by the Germans in 1944, liberating the Arnhem Highway Bridge is your responsibility. Secure the approaches to the bridge, and then the bridge itself. Partisan reports the presence of SS Panzer units in the area, but RAF reconnaissance says no. Oh, I'm sure the RAF reconnaissance is reliable. Suffer as few casualties as possible. You must hold out until your first airborne lads reinforce you or 30 Corps relieves you. German forces have closed in behind you. If you are forced off this map, your troops will be dead or captured. So, this entire northern section battle doesn't even matter. We have no retreat. No ability to fall back to any of these previous maps. This is it, boys. The Arnhem Bridge. Presumably the Arnhem Relief section down here are troops coming from Oosterbeek to relieve us. So that's probably defending these three sections here. I would guess. Hold until relieved. Hold until relieved. So if we go into the next fight... We only lost one unit wiped out. The Bren section did suffer 50% casualties. Light rifle section is shot up pretty good, but then the other rifle section's in good shape. Piats are all good. AB ad hoc rifle, good. Sniper, good. Three inch and Vickers, good. So this is basically Major Robert Frost's map, right? We have two points, but all we can afford is a sniper. So we could go for another sniper. Um, the Germans desired seven hours. We asked for one. I guess we go with a sniper. 
I was thinking save the points. But I can use another set of eyes. So we get the State Archive and the Providence Government Office. Not individual troops, no. You can buy new troops, but you can't replace individual troops. So here's the bridge. It's just the southern, or the northern end, southern end. Bridge access down here. Public works. I don't even know what to do with my troops here. Also, why would I put the vicars up there? All by themselves with no one to defend. A four-story building. Hell yeah, brother. Presumably you've got a good line of sight here. Or not. I would have thought with a four-story building you would. Here you do. Maybe too good. All right, we're going to move up on the public works. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how many reinforcements the Germans will get. So our rifle section will move here. Oops. Piat, rifle, rifle. Or, yeah, Piat, right, er, sorry, Bren, rifle, rifle, rifle. Okay. Usually the Germans will deploy their troops right on top of you, so. A 28.K modem is, is the internet, isn't it? Really, really bad internet, but internet. I'm using my sniper as recon because they're so damn cheap. Guessing whatever they have will be in the public works. If not one of these other buildings in front of me, but so far no sign of any Germans. Boys, keep pressing. Oh, shit. Sturm Grenadier is just spotted. Move completed. Move completed. Panzer Shrek also. Well. a full Sturm Grenadier unit. So those are some reinforcements they didn't have before. Panzer Shrek down here. Moving. 
They're in the open, at least one of them is. Someone's shooting at this Panzer Shrek. So something on this northern house up here. Oh, you guys should be able to rip these storm grenaders apart if they move into the open. They assault this ad hoc house, we have no hope. Piat did not hit anything. Using my Piats to try and hit enemy troops here. Their tracks moving this way. Oh, wiped them out. Yeah, the Piat hit to the machine gun unit here. Two casualties. Good job, boys. Hit that house, did some damage. Keep using those those pee out rounds. It's not like we need more of them. Man, the pee outs really wreck buildings. Okay. We need this is day two of the fight, so. We're still going for the building here, day two. Um, let's move one of these piots up. Maybe we can direct fire these piots at this three-story and hurt the storm grenadier. He's moving, he's withdrawing. Switch over to defense. You only have one HE round left? God. Ammo does matter in this game. <laughs> you do take casualties. Why are you moving? Didn't tell you to move. Just drop fire beyond that house. Move completed. Maybe I got greedy. I got that one good hit now. I want to use my piats for all sorts of things. Uh, someone just got killed. Not an MG unit. Storm grenadier. Where are these guys moving to? I don't think I ordered them to run around like this. Okay, so the ad hocs are shooting at this MG. Fuck. Three inch more ordnance took a hit. Why are they peeking around that building? I never told them to do that. Just defend and stay out of frickin' harm's way. Move completed. I don't think they can hit from there. Alright, so they only have one healthy guy in here and two injured. They're both in this house. Move completed. 
That's assault, I guess. They're routing, so they have one healthy soldier. The rest are losing their minds. Can you guys fire your smoke over here? Infantry, go assault that building. Please have good luck. Three guys can shoot back. I only see one. Got him. Got at least one of them. Got another one. Alright, so we destroy that storm grenadier. All right, so there's Germans to the north. This is a separated, so it's sort of the same unit. There's just one guy operating this machine gun. I guess I don't care. It's not an objective. Conserve ammunition. Public works. There's no buildings on the north side of that town, so if they want to have an MG set up there and fire into our flank, I'm okay with that. Area secured. Move completed. Two of my mortar teams are hurt. How did you get out of the line of fire? Move as long as they don't have any like large scale hidden units here. We'll see what this heroic sniper can do if he can get to the bridge axis. The Panzer Shrek is dead. At least the one we saw. Move completed. Can he not take the bridge axis? Or does that mean there's a German around? I don't know if snipers can take individual. No, no, no. Get back here. Who's shooting it? No, oh, oh shit. Oh, don't shoot. I didn't think I gave him a shoot order. Thought I gave him a move order. Move completed. Nightmare of AT guns trying to take out Panzers going up this map. Yeah, that would probably be a nightmare. Oh, I don't blame you for having nightmares for that. I wonder if the sniper can't take... There's the separated guy who's panicking. Maybe he's why we didn't take the... bridge access point. Move completed. Move completed. Like, what do I have to do to get the bridge access? Meanwhile, the sniper... Oh my god, there's a panther. Oh boy. <laughs> Glad I'm sending all my uh, piots up north here. Who is that? Move completed. He's like stuck in here though. <laughs> What's he gonna do in there? All 
Alright, we do have a Piat over here that hasn't fired yet. Is he really just charging at you? I wonder if the Panther's stuck there. Part of me wonders if we could sneak up on the bridge and fire down onto it. In position. That piot's out of ammo. Who is shooting at this? Move completed. Burn through all my Vickers 30 cal. Oops. Oh, no, don't you dare waste your goddamn Piat rounds on an individual guy. Alright, they killed him. I wonder if snipers can't take objectives like that, because he's right on top of it. I'm guessing the tank can't shoot up at me. So move that rifle squad down the down the bridge. For the fourth time they can't. Okay. Sorry. Area secured. Can my troops shoot down on the bridge, down on something below it? It didn't technically matter. If I take all the objectives, then we win the battle. No, I just don't see everything that's posted in the chat. That's all. Bring up the piots. Oh boy. Sniper, you're gonna die. So I don't see my rifles troops as having gammon bombs. At least it doesn't indicate it. Area secured. Soldier. And there goes the sniper. How about you stay away from that edge of the bridge? Oh no. Sneak. Don't let him see you. All the whole way, lads. Meanwhile, while he's focused on that, Piat coming behind him. Shoot him from the rear at point blank range. I think if we destroy that tank, we'll win the battle. Troops too much. Ooh. Area secured. Why are you guys crawling to the edge of the map there? I don't want you to Move do that. Completed. Can you move to the next warehouse, please? Move completed. Move completed. Move completed. 
Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah! Got him! Woot, woot, woot! Pants are down. Pants are down! The battle ended because the Germans were routed from the map. The Allies gained control of the area, but the Germans were expected to launch a counterattack. The Germans took excessive losses. Five more KIA for my troops on the field, and the Germans lose 15 men killed, two missing. So we're going to request an overnight ceasefire since there's no reason to fight again on this map. I don't know if the Germans will give it to us. I don't know that they'll have any troops to counterattack, but they've lost two tanks on this operational section and all of their troops. So if we take a look at the details here, we look at the Germans, this entire Sturm Grenadier unit wiped out. The Panther was wiped. I guess one of their troops is okay, but the Panther was destroyed. The rest of the troops surrendered or were wiped out. The MG unit was wiped out with the exception of one walking wounded, and the Panzer Strike unit was wiped out. On the previous map in the same operation, they were also pretty much wiped out. So Germans are not having a good second day in the Arnhem sector. Um, we did destroy the Panther with our Piat. Uh, so if we take a look, well, actually, if we go to our troops, Bren, no casualties. Rifle, no casualties. Rifle, no casualties. Piat, no casualties. Piat, no casualties. We did lose two out of three men in this ad hoc rifle section. The good thing is they're the worst troops that we have. We did lose one of our snipers. Um, but that's okay because they're cheap. And we did take a casualty, two casualties in our mortar section, but the section still exists. Um, and so kills, well, the three-inch mortar did quite a bit of damage here. Uh, well, actually, I think these are total kills versus this turn is white, I'm assuming. So two and two, one for the Vickers section. Uh, looks like the bulk of the casualties were done by this Tommy section here, these rifles. And then, who killed the tank? This Piat unit here. And nobody, so I don't know if like the Victoria Cross is cumulative for the whole operation, but nobody did better than a Distinguished Service Cross. Nobody got a medal for killing the tank, interestingly enough. I guess technically a military cross. Although if the white is really, I don't understand this then. If the white is not this battle, because this is obviously, why is it the lower number? Regional words are outlined in green. Hmm. Not sure. I'll have to look in the manual on that. Either way, that's a victory. So the Arnhem Bridge is ours. Meanwhile, Arnhem Relief. You fought hard to secure this area in the Arnhem Bridge operation, but now the Germans threaten to take it back. Do everything you can to keep the avenue clear of enemy troops. This may be an impossible task because enemy troop strength will continue to increase while yours decrease. Your reinforcement should arrive on day three. Yeah, that won't happen. We know that. The road must remain in British hands so that Lieutenant Colonel Frost's men remain supplied and in contact with the rest of your first airborne. If you let the Germans take the area, your men will be cut off at the Arnhem Bridge. So this is Arnhem Relief. Presumably, this is the uh, section right before the bridge. So we have a corridor linking Oosterbeek to Arnhem. Um, Oosterbeek is still nominally in our control, but, and I think we also took the rail bridge intact, maybe? Maybe not intact, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but the problem that we have is if we get pushed off this map, then Frost will be cut off, and presumably operation points and supply won't flow to him. I'm assuming we can counterattack then and try and get back to the bridge, but for the moment we have a corridor linking us, but I'm assuming this German counterattack is going to have a lot of armor. So, yeah. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. This is where the live stream ended, and I think taking Arnhem Bridge is a nice point to stop. We should celebrate because we have secured the Arnhem Bridge sector. Uh, the Arnhem Relief sector must now be held against German counterattacks to keep the supplies open. We can see in the south, it looks like the Bailey Bridge near Son has been completed. You see down there on the southern portion of the map, you have a line, part of it's green, part of it's yellow. The green line, I believe, represents secure areas that 30 Corps has advanced across. The yellow line, I believe, represents where 30 Corps is currently moving. So I believe they are currently traversing from Son up to the LZ near Oderonda, uh, south of Vigel. Uh, and so that is, that's encouraging. That means the Bailey Bridge near Son has been completed, I believe. 
uh, and it means the 101st is in the process of being relieved, which hopefully then 30 Corps can motor on up to Nijmegen and help us counter all that German armor that we've seen up there. But that'll be for another time. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer once again saying thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.